Hello and welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, day 3,807. We're here to welcome Sebastian Shaw, the Black King, into Marvel Puzzle Quest in the traditional ways of MPQ, which means we just throw him through a gauntlet of all kinds of stuff while he sits there raising his fist and screaming. Look at him, he's ready to go. No, honestly, he's probably doing that because he's super uber. Um, I don't know if he's Polaris level uber. I don't know if he's that good. But for a four-star, he's super good. Um, I don't know a ton about him yet. I try to go into these things kind of blind. But the internet has full of spoilers, my friends. And because of that, well, I can't quite go into everything blind. That said, I did read up a little bit here and there. Uh, from what I've seen, it's definitely noteworthy. Let's walk through it together. Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Okay, first two nodes are one-on-one -on -one nodes. And we have the four nodes for day one, the four nodes for day two. And of course, um, half of those nodes are Thanosable, as we like to say on this channel. Um, we'll start off with this Welcome to Shield one-on-one, -on -one, going against Magic with a nice 3-5-5 setup. You don't need to know much about her. We're not here for her. We're here for Shaw. Okay? Um, so just know that... What magic can do is every time she casts a power, she's going to put out protects. Uh, her purple is going to create more red tiles on the board. Um, and her red, when she casts it, is going to do a good amount of damage, but also remove a bunch of our tiles. Um, I want to say it's at random which ones, but it does remove uh, special tiles. So let's get into this. We're going to look at... Um, uses AP wisely. Produce, I don't remember that being there before. That's interesting. I'm going to take off these boosts. Uh, we get to use Shaw. Let's look at this loner they gave us, and we'll go over the, the powers that we get to deal with. So to start with, we have Kinetic Negotiation. Uh, as a passive, which <laughs> we all know passives are the bread and butter of this game now. Sebastian Shaw, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he takes 50%. It is level 5, so 50% less damage. Just period. That's match, power, everything. Storing 30% of the reduced damage as increased base match damage. So what 30% of the damage he takes, so 30% of that 50%, okay? Um, you get stored into your base match damage. Whenever Black King deals more match damage, you reduce your stored damage by 50%. So in other words, he's as long as he's getting hit, he's storing more power to hit back with. Um, he also takes less damage on everything he does, so uh, you won't see like a giant clap back every time you do matches because you're reducing the hits you take. But, you know, if someone hits you nice and strong, um, you best believe you've got a nice hit coming back from on your next match. Um, this isn't even talking about adding in strikes and other ways of boosting your power, right? So, you know, just keep that in mind. Capital Gains. Nice, cheap, three purple AP ability. This is level five version. Drain up to 17 random AP, storing 50 of your increased base match damage um, for each AP spent. 50 for each. Now remember, um, when you calculate match damage, we're talking it's per tile. And matches are minimum three tiles destroyed. So whatever you're going for, if it's 50 base match damage there, right? per AP spent, and let's just say, um, you know, it's like 50 increased match damage on your purple, right? Um, if you do a match to your purple, that's 50 per gem that's going on up. So triple this number if you're trying to calculate just random match three damage. It is per gem after all. Of course, this gets even crazier when you talk about match fours, tile destruction, row destruction, you get the point. Passive. At the beginning of Black King's turn, convert up to five charged tiles to basic tiles, increasing his stored base match damage by 50 for each. Um, that's amazing. That's really why he's talked about so much. Because convert up to five charged base tiles to basic tiles, and that's basically saying, hey, Mighty Thor, uh, you're not cool anymore. He's just taking away Mighty Thor's thunder, uh, quite literally and figuratively he also is a good partner for mighty thor because she's going to create those tiles and he's just going to just suck them right on up and use it for more power 
Um, you could also think of him as a good partner for people like Miles Carnage, you know, that, that abomination. Um, or anyone else who just makes charges passively. Uh, we're looking at Jubilee from the X-Men or Negus, well, Negasonic kind of with the yellow. Um, you get the point, though. Um, so there's that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah. Then depower all enemy strike attack projectiles by 50%, storing 50% of their reduced strength. So you're, you're depowering the tiles by half, but then half of what you've reduced it by, in other words, basically 25%, right, uh, gets stored as an increased base match damage. Lots of increases to its match damage. Finally, there's this one. One to you, sir. It's not at level five, but hey, you know, just for funsies, let's put it up there and see what it can do. Uh, for six green, um, he expends all his stored match damage to deal 1,050% of his average base match damage to the target. Now, he says average. Now, remember, we have three colors for each character that they actually use for match damage and three duds. In this case, since Black King is a black uh purple green sort of guy you're still adding in the red yellow blue which is horrible for him that's why it says average base match damage okay you're gonna add all six of them together um well i guess seven really and divide by that number to get that average um it's only level three for this though because it is a loner so only 525 percent of the average base match damage still sounds good to me sounds like this is the sort of guy you just want to keep on punching cast these when you can yeah but like really i mean <coughs> geez uh he's he just looks like he's gonna tear apart a lot of people he's our new tanky character ready oh it's a one-on-one -on -one. we really should do these character effects there we go okay critical time critical time critical time critical time we're not doing a lot of damage right now because we haven't absorbed anything yet if you're wondering. Now, this is draining 17 random AP. Now, I have 16, uh, 21 if you count the team up. Let's see if it works. Yep, it does. It even included the team up AP. I was wondering about that. So let's look at our damage now. Oh, look at us. We're at uh, you know, almost 1,000 for all of our numbers. It doesn't just raise the ones that we care about, like black, purple, and green. It raises the duds as well. That's kind of scary. And we get this crit tile here. Sorry, magic. I'm not really sorry, but you know, you get the point. Okay, so now that we saw what we're up against, when we go into this one-on-one -on -one here, one of the rules of my challenges, or my channel, is that when we have, when we have to do one-on-one -on -one fights, or Basically, for except for very few situations, welcome to shield the fourth nodes is one of them. Um, we don't use five stars. We shouldn't have to. You expect new players just walk in against the Black King and have five stars champed and ready to go? No, that's not fair. That's, they're not going to have that. This has to be possible with four stars and less. <sighs> now, if you have five stars, you're probably not looking to me for any... Um, answers but i mean i would say colossus is a shoe in so would be uh wanda you know people that reduce incoming damage makes sense right or maybe someone that can re rejuvenate some health maybe someone that could defend a little bit against it um you get the idea i think right um so anyways shoot even vulture here could go airborne and just kind of skip all the, the the hubbub i have words uh, <laughs> okay, so, but besides all those things, we're not going to do a five star. Let's look at the fours. I don't know why I clicked three. We want people that can take a hit and keep on going. Um, now, if I'm looking at people that could take a hit and still keep trucking, I mean, one of the first things you think of is probably Juggernaut, right? Um... Let me see here. I kind of wonder what Red Hulk would do because he would constantly be procking his seeing red. Um, I don't know if that'd be good though because those that the tile destruction would just keep feeding 
the Black King. Probably not what we want to do, right? I'm just looking to see who we could really use here. Who could we could utilize? I mean, Karnak could be fun just because he does come with a protectile. He and it's a brief, it's a pretty beefy one, honestly. When he gets those crits rolling, he might be good. But remember, Black King is going to absorb 50% of everything we do. He's going to come right back to us. I don't think that protectile is going to work for so long. Um. We don't want to feed him charge tiles. Got to watch out for that. I wonder how Bishop would do. Bishop has this whole overclock thing. So when the countdown expires, he takes deals 225% of the damage he took while the countdown was on the board to the target. Pretty nifty if we beef, if we beef that up. We could re reduce this uh, for the future here and keep this here because blue stuns are fun i mean it's a it's a thought maybe maybe you could go with um potentially with x23 just because she has a really good regen she might be able to just regen her way through the fight juggernaut's one of the ones i was thinking of honestly Juggernaut here, his red alone says he just takes 90% less damage from enemy matches. It's kind of a reasonable thing to look for. Plus, he does increase damage. So, might just have to go with Juggernaut. It seems like the obvious easy winner. I don't see too many other obvious people. Black King doesn't make any special tiles, so I'm not going to use the blob. Um, I could go flying with Icarus, but that relies on you getting the AP you need before Black King starts laying into you. But if Icarus can get up in the air, his mid-air antics are really devastating. Rhino would be another candidate kind of like Juggernaut, but just a little less so. Plus, Black King doesn't rely on special tiles in the same way, so Rhino doesn't get part of his build to really work. I think that's going to be it. Abomination wouldn't be too bad because he could, he reduces enemies' match damage and power damage just passively, but that's about it. Half the fun of Abomination is the fact that you can come back to life. Um, Silver Samurai could be decent if you can get his stuff to proc, but that basically means that... Um, trigger yeah. yeah it's just a random chance that it triggers not the greatest thing in the world and baku could be he self heals he does more damage you know what i wonder if we should go with him for the ride um match damage is 300 percent increased for each percent of health he's missing he's going to be missing health for part of this um give a burst of health Whenever you match red, blue, or yellow. Takes less damage from matches and abilities by a 1% increase for each percent of health is missing. This could be fun. This could work. Does this really go up anymore? I could like do that too. Like what if we upgrade this? For more healing and bring on the pride. There we go. Let's give this a try. I feel like Mbaku might have a chance here. Let's go for it. I didn't even think about him until. Oh, it has the standard. Ugh, I hate when they do this. They didn't they didn't load his um, animations in correctly. Can we do? Can we retreat? Like, hey, game. Can you load him? Load his animations. Want to try it one more time? If they don't load it, then so be it. We'll just play. Nah, they don't load it in. That's dumb. I just lost a... I had a crit out there and everything, but oh well. <sighs> um, so we just got to start matching, right? That's really it. Um, we'll go here. So here comes the clap back. 
But because my name's Mbaku, see, I'm healing. Now he's doing the damage to me, but now I can deal some more back. I'm healing while I do it. It seems like Mbaku's like a slow and steady version of what Black King is going on. I'm doing damage. I'm, uh... Yeah, it's actually... It's working. It's just slow. That wasn't even that much damage right there. I'll take that. Anything to do over here? Nothing yet. Nothing worthwhile. Um, I guess I'll take this blue. I really don't got a lot of options here. I need reds, yellows, and blacks, and I've kind of exhausted all those on the board, haven't I? Oh, there we go. Um, I'm looking at a way to, ma to maximize this. <laughs> I'm seeing that. There's 6,000 damage to me, but I'm healing right up again. Man, animations with a Black King are kind of annoying, aren't they? They're just constantly triggering. Well, that's kind of funny. I don't really need those. Don't really want them. What else do we have to play with here? Oh. I have this green. That's fun. I should just use this trick or treat just for funsies, but you know what? We're doing really good as is, so I kind of want to see, like, just kill them all natural. Look at this health regen. And Baku don't care none. problem is going to be if I don't have matches to make that actually are going to reju rejuvenate his health. It's not like uh, the Black King is going to sit around and wait for me to get it back, you know? This, this might hurt right here. Yep. Stop. Stop with that cascade. Yikes. Reds, yellows, and blacks, and I don't see any of them matchable. Let's make some matchable. I'm going to use the Lightning Storm. Anytime now. Thank you. Just a board shake. That's really all I wanted it for, because now I can match a yellow and get a little bit of healing back for me. Okay, I get it. You got me that red. Okay, I get it. You got more. Jeez. Just constantly working that ability. He's almost. He's got me down pretty low, too. Um, I don't see no black. I don't see no yellow. I don't see no red. I don't see what I want to see. Well, not more to do for it. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, guys. And Baku almost had this. Uh, I think we're dead before he before it actually goes off. Um, is there a way to match a red, yellow, or black potentially? Just potentially. I think the only one I see is if I move this blue to the right, there's a chance a yellow could fall. And that's it. Oh, well, let's go for it, right? Uh, oh, yeah, if I can move this down, there's a cascade, but I don't think that's enough of a cascade to win. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of healing. Ouch. 
I'll take that black. He's gonna he's gonna do this capital gain thing again, but he's only gonna get so much AP out of it. Ooh. Stop. And the trick or treat comes in for the win, right? Wow. Down to the wire. So, there you go. Mbaku can do it. Um, obviously, he took a little bit of finagling, but it's definitely came through. Uh, he's Mbaku's pretty tough. I've always thought he's been kind of a cool character to have in a game. It's just, unfortunately, he's only a four-star. I imagine if we got him ascended, it'd be even cooler, though. Anyways, let's get through. Day one warm-up. We're going to throw in dead peeps. Come on, just the loners is needed. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Go away. We wanted that up there. Uh, Mbaku, you can go away now. We use the loner. And give me my Thanos. Okay. I'm hit fight. Hit this. Let's turn off the character effects because we don't need those to see this thing over and over again. You guys get it. I figured the match four would have done it, but okay. There we go. Thanosable second node. Loner. And don't need... Might as well throw that loner in too. Don't need to ruin what we got going. Um, I'm going to use black. And da, 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 I don't. Wow. You really got nothing else going on here? Okay. Um, take that. Sure. Unorthodox colors, but we'll take it. Oh, well, now you do a cascade. That's cute. All right. First node that means something. Day one toughen up. This third node, we got a Sentry Fighter Pyro and Mutation. This will be rather easy. I usually don't use five stars on the third node. We use four stars. Um, we got Emma Frost and Black King. That makes sense. The White Queen, the Black King makes 100% sense. Unfortunately, there's not really anything they do to help each other out power-wise. Uh, Emma Frost is really good at removing enemy tiles and putting on friendly tiles. And, of course, she has a little bit of, like, power messing where she can, like, mess with the enemy's power levels and make it so they can't do anything with them or make them super weak um she also has her diamond form it makes her in, in, invulnerable for a little bit but it has nothing to do with black king's arsenal black king is really going to be doing most of our work here so what we really want to do is we want to feed black king as much ap as possible right um there's a few ways we could do that um Give me a sec. Give me a second, please. <sighs> Let's do what we said we were going to do the first time. Let's put out Jubilee, because Emma Frost is an X-Men, too. So this is going to get two charge tiles. This way, Black King can eat them up and use them for more extra punch damage. And we get to see this in practice, okay? Let's go. So let's remember if we get some purple, uh, Black King will really love us for that. There we go. These capital gains are coming in. It's really cute of you to get like some criticals already, Sentry Fighter. Um, uh, I guess I'll take that purple. Sure. There we go. The doggy's gone. Got those two charge tiles we're going to use here in a second. We'll throw this right into, I don't know, what, this black match? Sure. 1608. It's not bad. Could be better. Look at all the matches they're doing. They just really want to get on the Black King's nerves. We got this match at pretty good right now. Those are good numbers. Um, we could throw their girl's best friend... Um, I mean, 
but there's no real reason to do it. We're going to win this fight before we know it. So let's just start. Let's just keep punching. That's kind of cute. Let's eat that charge dial. Thank you. And then we're going to do this capital gains thing here. So now we've just lost a ton of AP, but we need to kill that bot. He was annoying. We should do it again. And now, is there a black, purple, maybe a green? There's none of the above. So we'll just, we we'll might just team up down here. That's 3,000 just from a team up. Ooh, that flamethrower. Let's absorb some of that. That sounds like fun. So if I do this, go away. So yeah, the White Queen's not going to help us much in these fights. Um, we'll make use of her maybe on later ones, but I doubt it. <laughs> I feel like it's all about just feeding the Black King. He's got a really good kit, and Emma Frost has never been that impressive in this game. She's a tool to have in the toolbox, and she's got her use, or uses, but Black King's just going to outshine her. Okay, day one, test of skill. Assassin, Analyst, Aim Mecha. No one's really moving any tiles here. This will be a nice, easy shoe-in. We do get to use our five stars, though, because this one's got high-level peoples, and usually they've, they're kind of overpowered for the purposes. We get to uh, Iron Man. Wh why? Why is Iron Man the person we're using? Excuse me while I look at your stats. Oh, Hellfire Club. He's a Hellfire Club member? I did not remember him being a Hellfire Club member. Well, okay. That's happening. Um, sure. So, wait, does that mean the Black King? Hellfire Club, geniuses, okay. I was wondering if he was on Team Iron Man. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird, but whatever. Um, we can put anyone we want in here right now to mess around still. And honestly, I'm just going to do just that. I'm going to go to three star land. I'm going to do the same thing. I just, um, he's around here somewhere. There he is. Miles, three star miles. Cause remember, uh, nope, nope. There it is. At the start of miles turn, if there are less than five charge tiles on the board, create one. Yeah. We're going to do that over and over again. Okay. We're just going to feed black king because these these damages are going to get sick uh, um, i'll tell you what one of the things i miss about having like i i have all these champed five stars now and i'm this is not a point of me bragging as much as it might sound like it it's not um i i miss in these modes I used to not have the five star be that good. Some of some of them, uh, some of them I didn't have that high a level or all the thirteen covers for them. So, um, yeah, I don't want. Oh, do I use the green? Yeah, let's do it anyways. Um, and because of that, I would have to think outside the box to beat some of these nodes. I'd have to think about what tricks I could pull up my sleeve. Instead of actually relying on the five stars now, which I can. Which is kind of not what I wanted to do, but whatever. I guess it is what it is, right? Let's do this whole Girl Friday thing. That was not as exciting as I wanted it to be. We have a lot more AP right now which will be good for this. Let's gain some stuff. That's just match damage. Isn't that kind of disgusting? I think it is. It's like that's literally just match damage and it just, just killing stuff. I think that tile's like crawling towards my strike tile. Like it, it's not going to get there, is it?
I mean, is it just me or is um, Shaw's match damage super good? <laughs> We're just going to do it again, right? Wow, if I do this, it's going to do 21,000 damage just by casting it. Um, I wonder what happens if I get more. Like, can I store up more? I think I can, right? So I do this. Ah, oh, no, but expended some of it because obviously I'm making matches. So I see. I was kind of wondering how that worked. Get to see it in action. There's a lot of number play going on here. They take about the. They talk about the system here being kind of like, like old. Yeah, twenty one thousand. Let's do that now. There you go. They talk about this engine for this game being old and the, you know rewiring, recoding a lot of it being a lot of trouble. Um, I can see like they're creating a lot of their own trouble. Some of these systems are pretty intricate. It looks like. I know it's just math, but it's a lot more than what they had to used to you know they used to do to make their characters. Day two warm up. We got Captain Marvel, Gwenpool, Doctor Strange, but we know what we're doing here, right? We're just gonna go here, loner. It's the first node. Thanos. Um We'll just do like a what? Like a this? And then like a this. Okay. Day two, show your stuff. Loner, Thanos. It's the second node. It's not difficult yet. Here you go, take that crit. Very nice. Okay, ones that matter now. Well, here for people who don't know, what's going to happen here is Commander's going to generally create yellow. What generally happens is, is Iceman's going to make, uh, take that purple and change reds to blue. If he just gets six blue, that's a four turn stun for their team. Uh, you know, for us, uh, I should say. Um, if, uh, if he gets enough blue again, another six blue, he can do a punch while that countdown he made is out there. And that punch is super strong. Uh, meanwhile, all the other purple, if Iceman doesn't do that purple move, goes to Wanda. At 14, she does a super strong reality crush, hitting my whole team and doing a five-turn stun on someone. My, by the way, Scarlet Witch is also, um, with her blue passive, uh, passively making a countdown, a blue countdown, so that could actually create a random match. If it doesn't, it's going to count down and create purple tiles randomly for their team to scoop up. Um, basically, we have to take care of the commander first because that's free AP. Then Iceman because the stunning's annoying. And then finally Wanda to wrap it up. Uh, we have Black King, Emma Frost once again. She's not going to help us much. We are going to use four stars only. Let's feed them what they desire. Um... I have a couple ideas. I'm skipping by some obvious ones. Um, we basically just want to feed like AP to Black King as much as possible. So I wonder if maybe we just like do like a three star Iron Man sort of thing. You know, like let's bring him out. Because if we cast that, he's got a ton of AP then, right? So let's do a boost, like a red-yellow boost, so we get a little yellow to start. He's already got Avengers Tower on, so let's go. Mm, still don't have enough AP to cast it. We'll get it, though. Um, let's do, let's switch to Commander and then do this. A little more yellow. Oh, they got that green. Lame. Okay, we gotta take the yellow. Even though I wanna take the red or the purple or other things, we gotta take this yellow. I would cast Shaw's purple already, but this yellow's here. I'd be dumb if I don't. Let's 
called Waiting for the Big Payoff. Um, we'll take the purple into red. Thank you. Remember to use these supports all you can. I mean, that's what we... We go through all this trouble to get them, you know? So let's not ruin it. Uh, I'm going to take this purple. Only because this countdown's about to make a bunch of purples around it. And I don't want them chain reacting into each other. It's bad enough they're going to get that. See? Oh, reality crush. That's cute. Oh, they crushed Iron Man. Lame. Well, he's going to be stunned for five turns. Let's just finish off somebody. I'm going to do this. And then... Should I match the greens? I mean, it's a Shaw color, so... I feel like that's a good thing. But we don't use the green for much else. Eh, whatever. Oh, boy. They had enough blue for that, too. Okay, Emma. It's up to you right now. This is why this team's super annoying. They can do stuff like this, and it's just like, okay. Yawn... Um, we'll take this red into black combo. <clears throat> I guess I'll take this purple? I mean, I'm not seeing a lot else that I really want to do. Oh, they're going to take that black times four. That's... <sighs> my bad for not seeing that earlier. There goes one of my Iron Man countdowns. Lame. Okay, let's get rid of this. We don't want that going off for no real reason. I have my characters back finally. Thank you. There we go. So, I can do this just to kill the guy right there. Boom. That way I still have my purple. Go up to Iceman. Let's drain a bunch of AP. He doesn't have enough blue yet, but he will soon if I let him get it. That's not my plan. I don't plan on just letting him have it. You know that. Although, there we go. He's got the blue. Oh, we're up and live, though. So Iron Man could just step in and just blast him out of outer space. There we go. He's gone. That's good. Wanda's by herself now. Hopefully we can take her down before she gets her purple up again. Let's take some of this green for no good reason. Should I take that? I think I should. Just to... Just to pump out a little more damage. I didn't have a cascade lined up, so... Seems like, like you don't want to use that green if there's a cascade, but if it's like by itself, there's only just one match out there, then why not, right? I'm going to take that. And we'll take what? The black? I don't know. Black or the purple? I'm going to take the purple. Of course. Let's drain some more. We've drained all our resources. All the resources are drained into these hits. Um, give me that black. I like how this character like hits like a like a truck, right? But at the same time, he doesn't seem unbeatable. He just like he's very defiant. I do like how he's going to ruin a lot of people's plans with charge tiles, and that's good. Okay, you can stop with that. That's a lot of damage I took for no good reason. Where is... There's no green, no purple, no black. Oh, there's a black. There we go. Next match kills her. There we go. Okay, one last fight to do. Before we wrap up day one, uh, or days one and two, for Welcome to Shield for Black King, and it goes against one of the big ones. 
Riri Williams, The Mockingbird, and Decoy. I like I said The Mockingbird, not my intent. Um, the, let's set the table here how this works. Decoy creates green and black passively. Um, none of that is, the black isn't going to help anyone, but the decoy, they do a random stun thing. The green, however, feeds Riri Williams, who does a big old Mortal Kombat style uppercut to you, sending you airborne for a turn. Um, it's kind of annoying. You, so you sit up there in airborne doing nothing. Um, if you have special tiles out, she puts herself up in the air as well. Uh, that's besides the point. Um, Mockingbird is, uh, creating AP anytime you do a match four or higher, um, it, both Riri and Mockingbird are looking for reds. Uh, Riri's blue generates red tiles, red charge tiles to the board, and um, it'll almost always make a match in the middle, and that's a lot of free red for them. Riri's red is hits like a truck. Uh, so does Mockingbird's, but Mockingbird's is based on countdowns. Um, so Mockingbird is the least important because her uh, hit is delayed and you have time to stop it. You've got to kill Decoy first to get rid of the AP generator, then Riri Williams to get rid of that instant gratification they have, and then finally Mockingbird. Uh, Iron Man is going to kind of help here because his blue gets rid of all the reds on the screen. Um, his yellow can be a nice uh, defensive boon, but honestly, I don't think this is really going to help us too much. I do have a different idea though right now. I've been kind of wanting to know how this works out. Um, I wonder how Vulture feeding him over and over again is going to work. I mean, I don't got purple, but anytime I cast purple, I have so much AP in hand, right? So that's the idea at least. Um, let's start with some black. I usually use a five star in this fight, but... I had this idea, and I kind of wanted to see it through. Do I take the purple, or do I take the black? Ooh. That's a good match right there, too. Um, and there's a match four to the left of it. Lame. Um, I guess I'm going to disrupt the match four by doing the black. Of course, it, it's a different match four. <laughs> Should have seen that. My bad. I can take this black right here and then put the vulture up in the sky. I know my uh, black king is out of it for the moment, but he's just airborne. He'll come right back down and we can start hashing out, um, you know, who did what to who. All right. Almost back down. <clears throat> we got to get rid of some of this blue because they are looking to do some nasty stuff to us. There's that red they want. Oh, boy. They've got almost everything they want right now. Okay, let's... I think Vulture's Green is going to be more useful than Black King's. Black King's is fun, don't get me wrong, but Vulture's does a whole team hit with a lot of damage here. Of course, it helps that I have them pretty high level. So, um, I could do a lot of things, actually, now that I look at this. Hmm. You could do Girl Friday before doing this. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's do Girl Friday first. Okay. Could just kill him off from now. Then we go throw out this green, throw out this black, we're up in the air. Um, black King can take these capital gains. And then we can do a little bit of this. <laughs> of course I'm up in the air. I've got two characters up in the air right now. Thanks, Riri. <laughs> um... Well, those reds aren't going to go anywhere right now. Secret mission depletes some AP, which is a kind of little annoying. There's some damage. Thank you, Vulture. Um, I'm not going to cast his green again right now because we kind of wait. We got to wait for like things to come back down. Basically, I need to get Vulture ready to get back up in the air. 
Thank you for taking those charge tiles away, Black King. Good to have you back. Um, we are looking for... What, the green over there? I, I don't see why I would really want anything else, though. So let's do it. Um, I kind of don't want to lose the black, but I just want to punch out Riri before she gets us, so I think I have to do this. There she goes. 48,000 in that punch. Okay, here was a bombshell. That's super strong. That's super scary is what it is. Um, that's a lot of damage. It's like 90,000? Yeah. Now, Black King can survive this. We have no doubt of this, but still. It still doesn't mean it's not a big hit. Um, Love and Fear, that's kind of interesting. Do these hit the whole team? Just deals damage, straight up, okay. Um, I could put Vulture in the air just in case something stupid happens. I feel like that's probably a smart move. And then I could have Black King take this. I wonder how this will work. Let's see how it works. Whew, that's a lot of damage. He's going to store half of it, though. Let's see this comes back. I want to see what that match damage looks like. <laughs> 15,000, almost 16,000, a lot of numbers. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, what if I cast that? 82,000 damage. Well, I mean, I think we have our solution here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that Black King is um, it's pretty good for this. Yeah, Vulture was pretty decent for this, too. Uh, creating a lot of AP, making every time I cast purple for Black King uh, even stronger. And just there to support the king. Don't need a five star for this, right? We got this so far, we didn't use one. We've been using Miles Morales, um, Jubilee, cheese, um, Iron Man, the three star that is to make that AP, and then um, Vulture. So pretty good so far, not bad. Okay, that was days one and two. Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. for Sebastian Shaw, uh, the Black King. And I will see you guys in two days when I come back for part two of this. So we'll do days three and four then. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys real soon. Later.